start. Start off the script. This morning was held the first meeting of the new North Atlantic Council, which was set up at Lisbon about two months ago. Our first task was to consider the question of um, a successor to that great soldier statesman, General Eisenhower. Uh, in a way, therefore, it was a very sad occasion. Uh, but our hearts are filled with gratitude and with pride to that uh, great soldier statesman for what he has achieved since he was appointed Supreme Commander of the Allied Forces in Europe. Uh, and it may well be that when history comes to be written a hundred years hence, his contribution towards saving the peace will be acclaimed as being not less praiseworthy uh, than the contribution he made towards winning the war. Pause. Uh, Paris. <laughs> Paris is now the permanent headquarters of NATO. And it is very fitting that it should be so, because, as I read in an American paper the other day, Paris represents, perhaps more than any other city in the world, what free men have been able to achieve with their hands and their minds. It is a symbol of the historical and cultural values which NATO is designed to preserve. I'm very happy to have with me today uh, Mr. Van Frydenberg, the new Deputy Secretary General. He is a Hollander and I am an Englishman. But we and all those who serve with us are now internationals the servants of the 14 different nations who have joined in the partnership of NATO. One word more. Our way is the way of security and of peace. That is our goal. It is towards peace and security that all our efforts are directed in the work of this Atlantic Council. <laughs> I am very happy to have at my side Mr. Van Vredenberg, the new Deputy Secretary General. He is a Hollander, and I am an Englishman. But we, and all who serve with us, are now internationals, the servants of the 14 different nations who are partners in the North Atlantic Treaty. One word more. Our way is the way of security and peace. That is our aim. It is towards peace and security that all our efforts are directed in the work of the North Atlantic Council.